Now, I want to include that chart on my dashboard. And you can do that in a number of ways. And one way you can do that is to use the camera tool. And the camera tool, I've already added the camera tool up on my quick access bar, my quick launch bar. And uh, to do this in 2007 or 2010 or um, 2013, click the little drop down arrow there. Go to um, more commands. Choose commands not in the ribbon. And scroll down and find the camera and add it in. In 2003, if anyone's using 2003, then what you need to do there is uh, just add it to the toolbar. If I select the cells around the chart, okay, so select the cells around the chart. I've actually selected behind the chart. Then I click on the camera tool. Then I go to dashboard one, and then I click where I want the chart to go. It has now brought the chart in. And you can actually see, if I click away from there and click back on it, you can actually see there's a formula in there. It tells it where it's linking to. I can still move this around if I want to. I can resize it. Because the whole idea of dashboards is you're not looking at the detail, you're getting an overall view of what's going on. So if I go back to my feedback and I go and change, for example, um, what shall I change? So let's go back to here and change some of the knowledge to ones. So somebody's not been very impressed with uh, with what we've done. They've given us bad marks. Let's go back to the feedback. That should have changed the figures for January. And if I go back to dashboard one, that has updated this as well. So the camera tool is a great tool for uh, copying blocks of text and um, graphics and live linking them.